world, this is What's Up 2190 Fleet Hacker, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to securely erase or format a, Ma a Mac OS X hard drive or a USB flash drive. Now, before we get into this, um, if it is your uh, is it if it is your Macintosh HD, like your actual main Mac OS X hard drive, you want to you want to erase and reinstall the operating system and all that. You'll need to boot into Recovery HD to do that. You will not be able to do that from your running operating system. You will need to reboot into Recovery HD because it will not let you do that when the operating system is running. I will have the link on how to get how to use Recovery HD below in the in the video description. So, if it is just um, like it like a separate partition drive on your Mac or like a USB flash drive That you want to erase or reformat then all you have to do is just once you're signed in open disk utility Then Once you've got disk utility open Here there will be a list of hard drives here and if you have your USB flash drive plugged in, it should show up here, like mine is USB 2.0 2 media. Or if you have like your separate partition that's on your operating system mounted, then uh, it will also show up here too. So the instructions from here on out are the exact same for, for either USB flash drive or a, or a separate partition on your drive. What you wanna do is just select whatever drive you want to erase. And make sure you select the drive itself, not the partition on the drive. Then just click Erase. Then where it says name, name it where you want to name it what you want to name what you want the disk to be called from here on out. Stick. And then as for the format. If it is just, if it is only Mac OS X that you're going to leave this, uh, this, um, disk formatted for, then you, then you need to, then you should leave it as OS X Extended Journal, because that is the disk's type that Mac OS X computers read, will read by default. Whereas if you are going to use it on a Windows computer as well, and you try forming it as Mac OS X Extended Journal and it doesn't work on a Windows, then you could try X. Then you could try formatting it as either MS DOS FAT or X FAT. So once you've done that, you just want to click Erase. Then just wait for this progress bar to complete. Now this progress bar could take a could take a while to complete. So I'm gonna pause the video until it. Oh, there, there, it's done. But it, but if it's a particularly for large drive that you're formatting, it could take a while to to format. So once you're once you've done once it's done, you just want to click complete. Then if you want to securely erase it. To make sure that none of the data that was erased during the format. To make sure that none of the data was er that was erased during the format could ever possibly be recovered by like a, a memory uh, like a lost file recovery program of some sort. You just want to click on the partition that you just formatted your 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 drive as, then click erase then click security options then when it comes up with this menu here change it to where it says most secure the more and more you drag it right the more and more times mac os the, the mac os x operating system will overwrite the, write the data on your drive making making it even harder and harder and harder to possibly recover the data on the drive so once you've once you've selected your security level, just click OK and erase. And then 
this process could take a while because it's overriding the drive many, many, many times, like seven times, like a couple times over. So I'm going to pause the video until it's done. You can click show details here if you want it to show the details. So once the erase process is done, all you have to do is just click the uh, done button that up here. Then you should have this partition that you chose to rename your on your uh, on your flash on your drive that you chose to rename the partition as when you erased it. So that's about it. I had to rename it from a USB drive, but it, so it's just untitled now. But as you can see nothing on there and because I securely erased it if someone were to take a uh, it's sorry if someone were to take a recovery data recovery program they should now not be able to get anything off of that disk so after I I finished that last part of the video I decided I'd actually show you how to reform ad, mat a drive on Windows computers too. Now unfortunately with Windows computers securely erasing is much more difficult. What you have to do is come to this web page right here which will be in the description and follow Microsoft's instructions for doing so. But how to format a drive on Windows actually isn't that hard. All you have to do is just type go to your search bar and type create format and then it should come up with this create and format hard disk partitions then just open that I've already got it open so then just plug in the drive that you want to reformat I'm, I'll cancel here because I want to show you how to do it using this but uh, um, all you have to do is just when, select the drive you want to reformat what you want to do is right click then if there's a volume on there, you want to delete that volume, which will erase everything off the drive. Click yes. Then just give it a minute until it till it says unallocated. If there was if there was not um, a, p a partition on that drive former partition on that drive then you should, will not have, have to have done that last step but once it says un unallocated you just want to right click then click on new volume then it'll come up with this screen here then if you want you can type up the maximum um, amount of memory that that uh, um, that that partition will be able to use on the dr on the drive and then if you want you can create you can create another partition on the unused space that that will not be used by the partition we're creating now or you can just use this one part partition on for the whole drive which is what I'm going to do so just click next once you've done that if you want to you can assign the following drive letter that basically means that that is the the letter that that drive will be um assemble will, will be called when you plug it into your computer if you want to you can change it but you don't really need to then just click next this pops up just click yes then i'll just name it then like here is where you can change the fi the file f uh, file system if you want. You can change it between FAT and FAT32, and also you can change the name if you want. I'll just name it. I'll just name it uh, this. Then you're gonna want to uncheck perform a click format. Because if you have perform a quick format checked, that will do it faster, but in turn it may not format the whole drive. So just click next and click finish. And if it's a very large drive, then it could take a long time for it to do, but that wasn't a very big drive. I just formatted only about one gigabyte, so it's already done.
So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is What's Up 290 Fleet Hacker, and this time I actually am signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.